Come to me. Oh, well. Perfect landing. Go, go, bird. Go, go, bird. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to our Sea with Adam. You know who I am. And today, we're taking a look at the Go, Go, Bird, the production version. This is the Go, Go, Bird Eagle. I did a review on this on the uh, pre-production version, but uh, they have made some very important changes or sort of upgrades uh, for the production version. So let me actually open this up here and show you what we got. So again, this is the Eagle version uh, and it is a, quite a windy day today. So not ideal for this type of bird, which is a, an ornithopter. So uh, it's a bit more sensitive. Anyway, here's what's cool about this. We can actually set this up right here in the field without any tools. The major upgrades that they've done are they have, uh, instead of using screws to hold on the wings, you actually have these little plastic clips. And I'll show you guys a close up of all of this stuff. So we should be able to just pop off the clips, set them down, and then put the wing on. And with the tail feathers, same idea. So we have this little plastic uh, hinged clasp. And then for the servos, instead of actual like individual plugs for the servo leads we have um, sort of a like a little four pin unit right here that powers the servo so that is pretty sweet so this is actually going to be the first time flying this again the conditions are not super great but we'll just kind of we'll see how it goes here because if it can fly in this it can probably fly in just about anything else all right so let's go ahead and put the wings in here so I'll pop the wings in place. You gotta make sure you press them in until they click. Okay. For the back of the wings, there's a little notch cut into the back of the wing attachment and that just kind of, kind of pops in place around this little metal pin. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It's crazy that it stays on. We'll see if it stays on. Again, this is the first time flying this. And then we'll take our little plastic clips, and these are clear, which is a nice touch, and just press them over the little posts. But I really, really love that you don't need tools to do any of this. Like, that's huge, huge. And I'm going to take off this sticker that tells us where the on button is. Before I get the tail feathers on, I'm going to put the battery in here. Actually, I believe the battery is already in here. Let's check and make sure. And they have improved the battery as well. Yep, it's in here. So it has it has a little uh, a little tab that you can grasp with your fingers. It makes it, it a lot easier to install and remove the battery. Okay, we'll just put that back in there. And uh, I usually like to tuck in the zipper if I can. All right, let's get the tail feathers on here. So we just kind of fold this hinge back or fold the clasp back and then wiggle that into place and then right on this little clear post we press that over and shazamo that should do it i've got batteries in the remote here let's give this thing a go let's see how she does all right and the buttons i believe the buttons are the same but we're gonna find out we've got takeoff button land button uh, I think that's the circle button, and then whatever this button is. What's this button? <laughs> nice. There we go. Don't hit the pole. Whoa. 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 Oh my gosh, that was really close. Whoa, dang, this thing was like soaring. That is a nice touch, that when you launch it, it makes the little bird noise. I like that. Take two. Yeah, there she goes. All right, so let's see. So to in increase flight altitude, we should go up. I'm trying to keep it kind of like in a circle-ish. So let's, let's make it go up. Oh, come back though. Oh my gosh. That thing gets fat going fast. Wow. 
Wow. That's cool. We got another bird friend over there in the distance. Oh, gee. That was not a graceful landing. Let me see if I can do a flyby here. Nice. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, with the eagle sound. Ready? Oh, wow. Right in the dirt. All right. So let's say aircraft landing. So it's going to flap, 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 and then stop flapping. Oh. So it's still landing, apparently. No. So again, I really wish there was just an instant kill switch to get the wings to stop flapping. On the plus side, it does seem that the wings are very durable and nothing has come loose so far. Let's try the circling feature. So let's tell it to go circle. Okay, so I turned on the circling mode. Yep, okay. The circling feature is not going to work very well in any kind of wind because, well, especially strong wind, because when it tries to turn, the wind is going to blow it off course. And then in this case, it was windy enough that it wasn't really able to properly turn and kind of just went into a downward spiral. Fortunately, it landed just on the edge of the nicely mowed grass. Dang. Look at that. How lucky is that? That is a big old fire ant mound right there. And that's where I landed. You know, I think it's really worth noting that the go, go bird eagle is very durable because generally with ornithopters, they need to be very lightweight. Um, and you know, birds are generally fragile, so they're kind of fragile like a bird. But this thing is like pretty stupidly uh, durable within reason for what it is. Um, I think I heard something snap there. That'd be hilarious if I just broke something. Did I? I don't know. Probably shouldn't throw it on the ground, but generally speaking, it is very durable. Like, watch this. Bam! Flies like a champ. I'm gonna try and hand catch it. Let's, let's do this. You ready? Ready? Let's hand catch this baby. Oh, gosh. Oh, that was cool though. That was really cool. No, don't go down. Don't go down. Don't go down. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. Yeah, I just realized we got to get this thing through the goalpost. So we got to try and do that. Um, yeah, let's do it. Cause this, I mean, that is what they advertise, right? So I will say one thing is this thing is maybe not as controllable as is advertised. Like, I don't think you're going to be taking this thing through like a little hoop, but let's see if we can get this bird through this big kind of goal, goalie goalpost thing. Okay, well, we almost, almost did it. Whoa, that thing is hauling. There we go, just above the ground. Yeah, baby. Come on now. Oh, got a little gust of wind. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Yeah, goal. Goal, goal, score. Oh, so close, so close. Well, we gotta take this way down. Let's just see what happens if we go like as slow as possible. Does it just land or what? Oh, 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 oh my gosh, it's cartwheeling. Yeah, woo! We did it, we did it. Come here, little bird, I'm gonna catch you. Woo! That was good. Oh, I wanted to catch you. So we have completed the through the goal challenge. Now we need to complete the hand catch challenge. For this, I'm going to want the bird coming into the wind toward me. So I'm gonna put my back towards the wind. Probably the best way to control it in terms of the turning is to just do little increments because these flaps, these servos just come all the way up. Like it's pretty much all or nothing. Um, and, and you really can't, well, to be honest, there are a few 
in between phases but it's really really hard to tell there's really no way of indicating that on the joystick so probably the best thing to do is to just do little nudges and that'll get it to turn how you want it oh wow okay so we can pull down on the joystick to slow it down a bit and that's basically gonna uh it's gonna slow it down but it's gonna make it uh decrease in altitude as well oh shoot that thing is just getting away from me like a lot so since i'm if i'm if you're doing a hard turn you want to increase the uh the flapping speed basically because that's gonna uh, uh give you altitude again because you're gonna lose a bunch of it if you try to do a hard turn i hope that made sense oh jeez <laughs> Somehow it just speeds up when it gets right to me. Come to me, bird. So I'm just giving it light, light little taps here. Perfect. Ha, ah, yes. Woo. Okay, not exactly what I envisioned, but pretty close. And pretty good, given the ridiculous amount of wind today. We're low battery. Let's try this one more time. Let's see what happens when the battery runs out, okay? Oh. I mean, okay, that is smart, but also kind of disappointing. Once the aircraft is low battery and it tells you that, it won't let you take off again. Fair enough. I mean, that is actually a, a pretty smart idea. There you have it, folks. The Go-Go Bird Eagle, the production model. I like it. I hope you did too. Huge upgrades with the ability to assemble and disassemble quickly without tools. If you're looking for an ornithopter that is user-friendly, I don't think you can beat the Go-Go Bird Eagle. Thanks for watching, everybody. Keep creating, keep flying, and I will see you again very soon.